Let's look at this example. This is exactly the same as the last example. So you have this rigid body, okay, this uh, little link right here. One end of it is traveling along this slot. Okay. The other end is constrained to this direction right here along the slot. Velocity of A is given, 225. And this slot right here is at 15 degree angle. And AB is 500 millimeters long. You're asked to find the velocity of B as well as the angular velocity of AB at this instant. I'm going to use the instantan instantaneous standard method to solve this problem. What you do is you draw the rigid body at this instant. So exactly like this. And then you draw the velocities at the two ends. So VA you know it's exactly it's going straight down. Okay? It's going straight down like this. V B is the unknown, but however you do know the direction. Going kind of this way. Okay. Next, here's the interesting part. We construct two lines. Both lines are perpendicular to the velocity. Okay. So the first line you draw perpendicular to the VA. At point A. So, draw it here. Like this. This is perpendicular. Second line, perpendicular to VB at point B. So, like this. Where they intersect is exactly where instantaneous center is. So, this is point O, which is also instantaneous standard. Okay? So now next write down the equation. So omega for the rigid body equals V A divided by L O A also equals to C B divided by L O B. This is the unknown. Okay. V B is also the unknown. So v A is given. What's left is these two. These two can be figured out quite easily from the diagram right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so you know that this length right here, AB, is L, which is 500. Okay. This angle is 30 degrees. Okay. And actually, no, if this is this is 30. All right, so this is 60 right here. Okay, and that's 15, so that's 15. Okay. And that's 15, then that's 75 right here. Then this is right angle. If that's 75, then this is 75. Okay, 60, 75, 135. What's left is this. 45. Okay, so now all we need to figure out is this length right here, LOA, right? And LOB. By using this triangle. How do you do it? Sign rule. Sign rule says that L divided by sine of 75 equals LOA divided by sine of 45 equals LOB sine of 60. Okay. L is given 500. Okay. So using this relationship you can find LOA and LOB very easily. Okay. Then come back to this equation right here and find the unknown. Okay, let's do it. So 
I'm going to use, let's say, this pair right here. Okay. So, my unknown for this pair then would be VB. So, VB equals VA times LOB divided by LOA. VA is given. And this is a VA. Now, LOB, the LOA, you can just use this. Rearrange it so L B divided by L O A equals just switch these two guys right here. So that's sine sixty divided by sine forty five. See how convenient it is? So V A is two two five times sine sixty divided by sine forty five. The crunch numbers. And this is two seven six. Exact same result as the earlier method. Okay. And next, let's keep going. I want to solve for this, so I'm going to just choose these two right here. Okay. So that gives me omega A B equals V A is two two five divided by L O A is um say L A I'm gonna use these two for L A so L A equals L times sine forty five by sine twenty five. So um L times sine forty five sine twenty five. Just plug in L, 500 down here, software crunch number, and software omega. So, 0 0.615 radians per second. That's it. Okay? Very fast. Okay? And the only really thing um, to make this successful is construction of these two lines. Alright? These two lines perpendicular to these two velocities. Where these two lines meet, that's the instantaneous standard method. Okay, and then figure out the distance, and you're done.